Now, the question is, and this is what we're going to answer today, what's in it for me? What's in it for me? In other words, if I go out here, or you go out here, and you work until your eyes pop out of your head, and you uh, obtain all of these things, this, this, these houses, these cars, the money, the financial security, all this stuff, and you obtain all this stuff, it's stuff that you can actually touch. It's, it's tangible. You, you can see it. You can feel it. You can, you, you can say, hey, that's what I accomplished. But if you're saying that success is what we just said, knowing Jesus Christ as your Savior, loving Him with all my heart, and becoming the person God wants me to be, what's in it for me? What can I see? What, what's the major stick here? How, how will I know? What can I touch or feel or to, to see this? Now, I'm going to mention three things here this morning that will be real noticeable when you're living this type of life. Okay? You ready? Say ready. Amen. Number one, you'll have a clear sense of direction. Number one, you will have a clear sense of direction. If you would, on your, your sheets there, on your, your handouts, notice Isaiah 43, 7. Even everyone who is called by my name, I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Now if you would, look at the one right underneath that. Ephesians 2.10. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. <coughs> Most of the life that we live here on earth I think could be summarized or categorized as a life lived in a survival mode. In other words, we're always trying to survive. We're trying to make it. We're trying to get over the top. We're trying to get things right. We're trying to get things situated. We're trying to, we're always in a survival mode. Amen? Amen. And there's some things that, that we struggle with and that we constantly think about. For instance, where am I going in life? Where's my life heading? I try, but it seems like I'm getting nowhere. Sound for me? Or better yet, how am I going to afford this? How am I going to keep making it? How am I going to afford to, to make it? I can't continue in the same pattern. Sound for me? Amen. How about sometimes I just don't know if I'm coming or going. I, I, I just don't know if I'm coming or going anymore. It just seems like it's one thing after another. And you know what? You know what? I really, I really just wish I could leave and get away for a while and start all over. Sound familiar? Amen? Or old man? Alright, amen anyway. What normally happens during this time is one or two things when we think like this. One is you stay in this pattern and you become very frustrated with life. Now understand a believer is in this category a lot of times. That, that things just get to you and, that, and, and you, you just, you're so frustrated. You become pessimistic. You become very negative about things in life because things are just not going well and you're constantly having to struggle and you're just fed up. You're frustrated. And there's just this pattern as, as being frustrated. It, it just turns to negativity. It just turns to being pessimistic. It just turns to just always complaining and, and always upset and always on the edge. Right. When you worry about all these things that's going on. Am I going to make it? What about tomorrow? Uh, and this happens. And, and Oh, I just wish I could start all over. That's one thing that will happen. The other thing that could possibly happen is you look at all these things and you begin to change things. 
I'm going to change my occupation. I'm going to change my school. I'm going to change my, my job. I'm going, to, I'm going to change my church. I'm going, to, I'm going to change the people I'm around. I'm going to change where I live. I'm going to change my friends. However, the problem is not external. The problem that most people suffer from is a disease called spirituality. It's, it's not external. It's not on the outside. What it is, is what you have no direction because of who you're serving. You see, a lot of times, it's all the concern, it's, and it's very easy for any of us to fill our lives with self. And somewhere or another, when we fill our lives with self, we, we try to fit God into our mold. Amen? Amen. I mean, we're, we're trying to make it, we're trying to survive, and we're trying to do this, and, 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 and I'm trying to have success, and, and all like this. And the truth of the matter is, when you're serving self, you will never, ever have success. Because you will always have a lack of direction. Yeah. Let me explain to you what I'm talking about this morning. If you're saved here this morning, notice the two verses that we just read. In Isaiah 43, 7. Notice what he says. I have created, God speaking, I have created you for my glory. Right. And then you go over to Ephesians 2, 10, and notice what it says. For we are created, or we are His workmanship, we are created in Christ Jesus Unto, not by, but unto good works. In other words, God says, you know what? When you're saved, you're created to bring me glory. Right. When, when you're saved, you're created for my work. Man. You're created to serve me. Right. You're not created to serve self. Right. It's not your will, your future. It's my will and the future that I have. It's all about the kingdom of God. And you see, when we try to serve self, and it's so easy, I do it, you do it, we all do it. And we worry, or, and, we, and we all these things that comes on, and we wish we could start again, and, and things don't go right, just all of this. And, and what ends up is we don't have a clear sense of direction. And what God is saying here is, is, is through His workmanship, when we realize the purpose that we're here, as uh, Rick Warren said in his book, The Purpose Driven Life, he said, it's not about you. This life is not about you. It's not about me. It's about God. Right. It's about Christ. It's about glory to Him. And when we get these roles reversed, then we have no sense of direction. We begin to serve self and then we go and try to change everything around us because we're not happy or we become, we don't change nothing and we become very frustrated with life and you see the negative coming out in us. So, when you, uh, when you start seeing what success is all about and you start saying, okay, knowing Jesus Christ as my Savior and loving Him with all my heart and becoming the God, uh, person God wants me to be, then I know, and, and when I start living like that, then I have a clear sense of direction. Okay? So number one, what will you see or what will you, what, what's in for you? A clear sense of direction. Because let's face it, folks, life can be frustrating. Amen. Okay? Number two, not only you will have a clear sense of direction, but number two, you will have a continuing separation from discouragement. You will have a continuing separation from discouragement. If you would, look on your sheets there, or your handouts, and look at Matthew chapter 6. Verse number 33 and 34. Now I know these are very familiar verses, but what were they? Verse number 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow. For tomorrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is evil thereof. 
When I mentioned things just previously about how am I going to make it? Or I can't continue like this? What this really boils down to, it is strictly nothing but worry. It is strictly nothing but fear. Worry and fear leads to discouragement. 